women that have always fascinated me. Um, if you go back, even to my early beginnings, I always preferred the company of girls. And um, they've always fascinated me. And as an artist, if you look back, I started painting people I knew, and most of them were, were women. And as time progressed, they developed into new figures, and I still continue doing that. I was 15 or 16 years old when I uh, first started working from the model. Um, and to me, it was a challenge. I mean, she disrobes, and I'm, I'm trying to represent this person who I just met, right? And we're in a class of what? There's 20 or 30 people. So we're, we're all trying to represent this person. And um, it was a great experience. And I loved it. It was fantastic. And you know, she changes her poses. She moves around. Um, and the whole goal of that was to be able to represent the human body. And from that point on, I mean, I fell in love with life drawing. The artist model relationship uh, isn't about that. Um, it's not. It's not. There's not a sexual situation. Okay. Um, when you're working from the model, it's there's a, there's a lot of respect between model and artist. But let's face it, without the model, I would be nowhere. So it's a professional relationship. You have you have models that will uh, work because they want to be part of your process as a creative person. Like you'll have some models will come up behind you after a session. Say you do an hour pose or a 15 minute pose or a 20 minute pose. They walk around and see what people have done, like in, in a classroom situation, even. Even if I say, well, you know, I love the way you did my breasts. I love the way the thigh, and that's great. I love what you're doing. And in some cases, they'll even walk away with a piece of work, a drawing or something, because they like it so much. And I appreciate, you know, without the models, I wouldn't be here. I'm a man, so I'm not going to say that there's no sex in my work. Um, and when you strip clothes off someone, they're left standing there. So there, there is a sexual nature to it. Um, I'm maybe a little bit more in your face about it because I don't hide the genitalia. I don't, I'm not, um, I don't think there's anything to be ashamed about. Um, you know, there's some people that put olive leaves and stuff to sort of hide certain parts of the body, but the body as a whole, whole as a whole, is a beautiful thing. So, I mean, every part of the body is beautiful. I paint all sides of women, so there's a sexual side to women, there's um, a day-to-day -day side. Women are constantly changing. Um, we change every moment. You change the music, the mood changes, the person changes. Uh, a thought comes into somebody's head and they change. So it, it's, it's all about that. And the sexual part is, is, is a part uh, of women. Um, when I paint it, it's, it's, I think it's empowering. I think it's not necessarily um, a docile thing. I think it's more, more about the strength that women have. That's been lost maybe down through the centuries. Um, it's not about being a warrior. It's more um, of the women, the, the women or the figure coming out of the painting. That's in, of interest to me. People who know what they want. I, I think a, a lot of men have problems with my work because. Uh, it's a lot of women that I do portray uh, are looking out at the viewer. Um, men are in today's society are used to being a voyeur, watching, you know, um, looking. It's sort of like the women doesn't, the women don't know they're being looked at. Now, in this case, they're aware because their eyes are looking forward. Um, and I paint women that are strong. So, uh, and I, I've asked other artists that are women, friends of mine, like, why? I said, well, you paint strong women. They're strong, they know what they want, they're there, their eyes are open, they're, they're strong, the, the, the way they're handled, they're very, it's very powerful. And that's what my work is, a lot of my work is about, is, is the power that women have. Some people uh, absolutely dislike my work um, because of its sexual content, like, most people look at a painting and they'll say, well, can I hang this in my house? Uh, if they, you know, Canadians are known to be landscape people. And I'm a humanscape artist. I do humanscapes. 
Um, ironically, um, most people who have my work are women between the ages of 20 and 45, single, business people. And they don't just hang it in the bedroom, they hang it in their living rooms, they hang it in all kinds of different places in the house. Um, and I found, that as, a, as a man, I'm saying, well, that's, that's sort of a strange thing for women, women to be collecting. Um, but it goes back to the power, the power thing, I think. And it's just my personal opinion. And they like the work. Um, a lot of people uh, don't like full frontal nudity. Uh, a lot of people have issues with it because uh, maybe it goes back to them being ashamed. Um, our whole Judeo-Christian uh, world has taught people to be ashamed about their bodies. Um, but, you know, it's mixed review. It's straight across, straight across the board. Some, piece of, some pieces I'm very, I can say, is, are very sexy. I, I like them. Um, I mean, I love all my work. But to some particular pieces that I'm, I'm very proud of that I think um, have some really sexy parts in them. Um, and, but it, it, as an artist, as a painter, um, it could be the way I, I've handled a breast or a way um, the, the work that is done, I've captured somebody the right way or I've done it, I've caught their essence just so or I've caught the body the right way. Then yes, I say, well, that's really sexy.